so hello friends so we are going to discuss uh, the one of the important technique that is substitution technique before discussing this technique i'm just uh, telling about the about this playlist that we deal only the numerical part of the cryptography and network security in this playlist so that you can easily solve all the numerical concept which are based on cryptography and network security okay so in the theoretical concept as you know that that the there are three independent dimensions of cryptographic system and the most important dimension is the type of operations okay that you are using to transform any plain text into cipher text so this is the first most important dimension so there are two type of operations through which we can transform any plain text into cipher text and that operations the two operation are known as one is substitution okay and another one is transposition so first of all we discuss some of the technique which are come under the category of substitution and then later on we discuss the technique which are come under the category of transposition substitution technique basically the name suggests that we substitute any letters any number or any bits to transform any plain text into cipher text so the substitution technique we can define it as that it is one it is one in which the letters in which the letters of plain text pt stands for plain text or your uh, message which are in readable format okay are replaced or we can say substitute replaced as well as substitute by other letters by other letters or by numbers okay or by symbols or by symbols so this is the basically the definition of substitution technique in which we uh, take any letter which under the uh, come under the category of plain text and then we substitute by any other letter or by number or by symbol okay so this is the substitution technique now the most important first technique which come under the category of substitution technique that technique is called caesar cipher caesar cipher so this is the first technique in which we are using for the substitution technique so in the caesar cipher okay so this is the earliest known use of a substitution cipher and it was uh, developed by julius caesar okay so it was developed by julius caesar and the caesar cipher involved replacing replacing or you can say substituting substituting okay replacing or substituting each letter each letter of the alphabet with the letter standing with the letter standing three place the most important is three place further three place further down the alphabet what does it mean this means that according to the caesar cipher if i have to substitute any letter with any other letter then just i am adding three place or you can say three place further down the alphabet what does it mean it, it means suppose we have a alphabet from 0 to 25 okay in which 0 starts with a and z at 25 so if i have to substitute any letter according to the caesar cipher then i will add just three position further down the alphabet for this means suppose if i have a plain text if i have a plain text like g okay in a, in the message i have a alphabet like g so what is the cipher text for this according to the caesar cipher suppose g have a position is 6 g have a position is 6 then i have to add or i have to further move three place further 1 2 and 3 so means if i add three value 
three place in this six, then I will get nine. And on the ninth position, I am getting the value J. So according to the scissor cipher, G is substituted as J here. So this is the substitution technique according to the scissor cipher. Okay. Now, if I talk about that how we represent the scissor cipher in case of a formula or a standard notation, then if I have to calculate size cipher text which is represented by capital C, then it is equals to plain text that is P plus key, k equals to key mod 26. So this is the formula for calculating the cipher text according to the scissor cipher. And in the reverse procedure, if I have to calculate the plain text P, then it can be calculated as cipher text minus k mod 26. So in which C is your cipher text, P is your plain text and k is your key value. So in case of scissor cipher, the default value of k is 3. Why? Because we are standing 3 place further down the alphabet. So the default value of k is 3 but you can take any other value also but the standard value you have to take that is 3 equals to. Now why we are using here mod 26? The reason behind is suppose just suppose the plain text is the plain text is z here okay so what's the what is the position of z that is 25 okay now if i add k as 3 here then 25 plus 3 then i will get 28 so on the 28th position there is no such alphabet means after 25 the special symbol comes so this means for the z uh, Z alphabet, if I add 3 in this, then I will get the special symbol. But I have to, but I want the symbol from 0 to 25. So if I take here mod 26, because I am having 26 letter from 0 to 25. So that's why I am taking 20, mod 26. So 28 mod 26 is what is, if I divide 28 by 26, then the remainder will be 2 here. So on the 2 position, on the 2nd position, what is, what is the alphabet? The alphabet is C. So for if I have a plain text as Z, then the cipher text for this is capital C. Okay, so that's why we are taking mod 26 value because we are having 26 alphabet in the English alphabet. Okay, just one more thing. Why I am writing plain text as lower case, cipher text as upper case because so the standard convention we are using that plain text is always, always uh, comes in lower case and cipher text will always shown by upper case. Okay, the convention we are using. That's why the plain, plain text is small z and cipher text is capital C. So this is the reason why we are using mod 26. Okay, so as you know that, see here. If I am taking the formula for this z itself, so c is equal to plain text. Plain text is z. So what is the position of z? That is 25 here. So 25 plus what is the k? k is the key value which is the default value having a default value is 3. So 25 plus 3 mod 26. So it comes out to be 2 here. So on the second position, what is the cipher text here? That is capital C. So this is how we use the standard notation for calculating the cipher text. In the similar manner, if I have to calculate plain text for any other alphabet, that is uh, suppose I have a cipher text as cipher text as uh, S. Okay. So now just check it out. What is the position of the cipher text S? S having a position 18. Okay. So in case of C, I am putting 18 here minus K that is 3 mod 26. Okay. So 18 minus 3 is 15 mod 26 and 15 mod 26 is 15 itself. Now what is the position of 15? So see here on 15, the symbol will be P here. So the symbol will be P here. This means if I am having a cipher text as 
just check it just one minute if i if i have ciphertext as s then the plain text will be p here okay so this is how we are using the scissor cipher which is the one of the most important or first technique come under the category of substitution technique okay so i'm taking one plain text and then we construct its cipher text suppose if we are having a plain text like that meet me after class okay so what is the cipher text here so you can directly calculate with the help of this table so for m m have a position equals to, uh, that is 12 so at 3 so we or we can move three place further 1 2 3 so that comes out to be p here e having a position 4 then at three place further that is h then again h for t is w then again for m we have p for e we have what what we have we have h okay for after is a a have a position 2 0 and at 3 here so it comes out to be d okay then i okay then w then h then u and for the class c having a position 2 then 3 place further is f then for l 1 2 L comes under the uh, at the position at eleven, so what three place further one, two, three that is O. For again A we have D. For S three place further one, two, three that is V V. So according to the scissor cipher, the if we are if we are having a plain text like that meet me after class, then for the that corresponding plain text we have a cipher text as P H H W P H D I W H U. F O D P V. So this is how we use uh, Caesar cipher to convert a plain text into a cipher text. Okay. So if you have any doubt, then you can ask in our comment section. So keep watching our video. Thank you so much.